Started with dozens of cars broken into, but no phones, no cash or computers were taken. It's a trend HPD started noticing a few years ago before investigators realized that the target guns were stolen out of parked vehicles. And now the numbers of weapons stolen are in the thousands and they're even rising. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz went for a ride along with HPD to see how criminals operate and what they say is really the best solution to prevent gun thefts. We have way too many shootings in, in this city, okay? City of Houston leadership knows this violence all too well. There are way too many guns that are on the street and many thousands that are stolen. Illegal guns that HPD says is fueling the violence on the streets. Anytime a, a gun gets in the hand of a bad person, however, it contributes to it. In 2021, 3,706 guns were stolen from a place most would not expect. We have too many firearms stolen from vehicles in the city of Houston. Already for 2022, HPD's total number of gun thefts from vehicles is up 17% in the first two months compared to last year. You're basically, you're mimicking what criminals do right now. Right, and we're out looking. Sergeant Tracy Hicks is with HPD's Auto Theft Crimes Task Force. He first started noticing a trend three years ago. Now, it's not a secret. Hicks says it's happening all over the city, with certain hotspots being Richmond inside the loop, the Galleria area, just off Southwest Freeway near Upper Kirby, and the Katy Freeway. Key targets? Vehicles parked at restaurants and gyms where guns are not allowed. Look at the truck itself. That's that's a gun guy right there. You know. Vehicle body styles and certain stickers are advertisements for criminals. The uh, pro NRA stickers, the Second Amendment, the come and take it, even a Trump sticker, you know, uh, lets people know that your likes and dislikes, uh, hunting, fishing, you know, those are outdoorsy guys. Also, stickers supporting law enforcement are another beacon for gun thieves. I saw your sticker. Do you have a gun? Yes. Is it locked? No. At first, Raymond Miller did not understand why KPRC2 Investigates was asking about the gun in his truck. The thin blue line sticker on the back of his cab gave it away. How surprised were you that we picked your truck because of your bumper sticker? I was very surprised. The solutions, according to HPD, lock them up. This gun's safe here. But not just any safe, one that is not going anywhere. You're gonna mount this. You know, it's gonna be bolted in the in your floorboard. It's an expensive solution, but Hicks says a vehicle is not the place to store a gun permanently. The other more practical solution, just don't leave them in a vehicle, even if it means having to go home to drop it off before a workout or a meal. Take the guns with you, okay? How challenging is that solution because you are relying on a citizen to be responsible and some people simply aren't. Everybody has to be intentional on being more responsible, including police officers, okay, when we're off duty. Don't leave your darn gun in a car because criminals are gonna get it and they're using those guns to commit crimes. Hicks says all gun owners are targeted, meaning men and women, which is why he recommends a lockbox to be bolted down into your vehicle if you're going to carry it. Danielle and Keith, a small investment for a big protection to ensure that a firearm does not end up in the wrong hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, it's expensive. The part is to drill it in there, but it's worth every penny, right? Absolutely. To make it safe. Indeed, take the precautions, yeah.